Mother Nature must have forgotten we have a game because she's dialed up a nice afternoon. We're underway, and the first one is it for Blake Adams. The sure-handed Robert Moore retires his counterpart, Soberano. Redbirds leave him loaded. An early trench. Trying to change that today. This one sky to center. Gains back with room. And that will end the inning. Couple Ground ball up the middle. That went through the legs of Adams and by Moore. And the Redbirds have runners on the corners and nobody out after the base hit from Huggins. A perfectly executed peak. It was a wild pitch. And that one hit well to left. Back to the bullpen, nearing the wall, and it's gone. A three-run homer from Joe Butler, and the Redbirds strike here in the third inning. Boy, just a big fly by Butler. He got under that one, and not a lot of wind today at Baumwalker Stadium, and you can see the Redbirds dugout. They are fired up. You got to remember, this is a team that took down Oklahoma already this season, and they know they can play with the big boys. Just a big swing right there. You see him pull his hands yes. inside the baseball. What a great at bat. Here's Franklin. That's a free base. So a walk and then the hit by pitch. That's the second racer back. Plunk try in that same pitch. Yeah, that same field gap. Sent down the left field line. That ball is fair. It's going to score a run and maybe two. Franklin around third. He is going to score, and Martin has doubled in a pair. And by trying to hit the ball up the middle, he's now keeping him fair down the left field line. He's, he's not hitting him over the grandstand into the parking lot. You talk about the, the bad speed of Martin. It's a hanging breaking ball. You can see it up there in the zone, right in his eyes. And again, he just jumped all over it. And the ball's kind of kicked around by Peterson down the left field line, and that's what allows Franklin to come around and score. I think if he get, fields that ball cleanly. Often going as Webb. That one shot off the tip of the glove of the first baseman and down the line and right. Webb is going to be waved in. Now the late stop sign comes up as Nate Thompson holds him on what will be a searing double off the bat of Robert Moore again. Actually a single, I beg your pardon. He held it first two. Two balls and a strike to Kirsten. Base it right field. This game is tied as Kerstad extends his hitting streak to 11 and knocks in another. But he just continues to hit the baseball and find holes. Good hitters do. And this is the advantage of holding more at first base and not sending him stealing. Look at the big hole that Kerstad hits between with that first base and black. Peplo's next one. Rolled into left to base hit. Around third comes Moore. He will score after a bobble by Peterson, and the Razorbacks have taken their first lead since Friday afternoon. All Casey Martin has done today has gone three for three with three RBIs. And you knew he just needed a little bit of opportunity. That might have been a close play at third, but Peterson charging in a little too hard. That one's up the middle, and that's a base hit. Leadoff single in the sixth for Illinois State. Eight. In the gap to right center, this will score a run. Franklin makes the catch. Hayes will tag and score. That pass ball a costly one because it's a contest even at four. You're exactly right. In that situation, the runner might have tagged and went from second to third, but the free base on the pass ball. Who has one of the seven base hits. The totals for these teams, by the way, are identical. At least they were at four and seven. This one towards the corner. Kerstad able to play the carom. Let's see if Libman tries to score. He will be held at third on a long single by Peters. A good job by Kerstad to get the ball back in. And Smoke to center for a base hit. Illinois State back in front. The throw from Franklin offline, and two will score. Boy, Cermak did a great job right there. Fastball right down the chute. He does not miss it. Delivers a big two-RBI single. Watch this ball hit right back up the middle. 
You thought Franklin might have had a shot, but he really didn't have a good throw. Threw a couple, two hopper to Cole Austin. No his base hit in the fifth inning extended his hitting streak to 11 games, and he nearly took the helmet or the hat off the head of Peplo on that line drive. Boy, another rocket off the bat of Heston Kerstad. For a guy who led the team in that category a year ago, and that chopper will find his way in the right for a base hit. Kerstad will easily turn second and motor to third. The Razorbacks have the tying runs on base, and nobody out. Boy, again, we, we preach about what it does to put base in hammer. Indeed he does. Three straight hits to start the seventh. The Razorbacks back within a run, and again, nobody out. Again, Peplo had to come back with a pitch over the plate. Franklin doesn't miss it, and that's going to bring Steve Holm, the head coach, out of the dugout. But look at this pitch right down the dish, and Franklin turns it around into left field. Arkansas is halfway there to cut that two-run lead right out the side right here. This is almost a no-man's land. In fact, it is. Morris is just slow off the mound, and that's one. That one is trouble. And it's not caught. Webb could not come up with it. Two will score, and Illinois State has taken a 8-5 lead. A really good piece of hitting by Libman. Great effort by Braden Webb in the outfield. He almost made a circus catch. You see this ball off the bat, you don't think there's any chance he can get to it. And when the runners are off to the races at the crack of the bat, a pair of runs come around and score. Too far down as far as outs this frame would help. That'll help, base it, Christian Franklin. And good quality at bat by Christian Franklin. Just stayed patient, stayed patient. That's a pitch that's probably just the complexion. When you're 1-1 instead of 0-2, because you get a chance That's to drop one down. Safe. Martin gets his fourth hit on a bunt. That was an outstanding play by Cermak, the third baseman, but boy, just too much speed by Casey Martin. Just looking for the first out this inning. There it is. Well, right down Broadway. 14 base hits for the Razorbacks today, but it might not be enough. This one down the right field line, bending. That's a fair ball. It's going to score Franklin. Martin sprinting around third. They'll hold him on a double that just stayed fair from Nesbitt. And the tying runs are now in scoring position. Boy, that was almost an amazing catch by Peterson. I mean, watch how close to this ball he gets. Look how far he travels right there and he almost makes that play and i think that's why casey martin had to stay put again those runs don't mean anything right. it's the run at second base so smart base running by arkansas in that situation not gas razorbacks down to their final out to the screen this is going to allow Martin to score, and it's a one-run game as Nesbitt also advances to third. Here's a payoff. Got him. Strike three. And the Redbirds come to Fayetteville and knock off the Razorbacks 8-7. to seven. Really good win for Illinois State. Very quality play game. They pitched well, played good defense, had some really key hits, and really impressed with Scott Holmes' team as they pull out the victory. Eight